this point in my pregnancy, I don't feel very different from normal. I have started to feel her kick. Is she growing okay? Like, is everything all right? As far as like preparing for baby, what we've done is um, mainly nothing. So now I will tell you about this doctor's appointment that I had today. I was pretty excited for because it's like a halfway there appointment and the anatomy scan and um, all sorts of fun stuff. But I apparently was not excited enough to make sure I got there on time. I don't know why, but I was for certain that this appointment was at 3 o'clock. But it wasn't. It was at 2.30. Well, my ultrasound appointment was at 2.30 and my doctor's appointment was at 3. I got there at like 2.50. Um, they were mostly cool about it. Like, okay, we'll see what we can figure out for you. Um, until, you know, the receptionist was nice. The doctor didn't really say anything about it. And then I got over to the ultrasound side because I ended up doing my ultrasound after. Since I basically missed the whole first appointment. And the ultrasound receptionist was like, oh, your appointment was at, it was at 2.30. It's, at this time, it's like 3.30. And I was like, yeah, I know. They, because on the day of delivery, you don't know, like, which OB you're going to have. It's just kind of whoever is there that day. They recommend that you start seeing different doctors at your different appointments. The first two appointments, I saw my regular um, person. And then this was the first appointment that I changed it up. I really, really like my regular OB. This person today, gosh, and everyone I have dealt with at the like whole office and facility has been extremely nice, like overly nice. They're all great, but then I didn't really like the OB I had today, and she wasn't rude. She just didn't have the, the same like um, happy like demeanor that everyone else does. I mean, you're going through like a ha like a really happy time and for a lot of people it's brand new and maybe a little bit scary and you don't really know what you're doing. <laughs> um, first off, she had, they told me beforehand, but she had a medical student that came in first and I, you know, was totally okay with that. I, you know, that like nothing about that bothers me, but you could tell he came in and he was just a little like not flustered but like he hadn't done this a whole lot of times and I remember what it was like the first few times that I went and saw like patients you know when I was in my internship so and he was he was a little flustered but he was really cute so like I don't know he's like I actually kind of got embarrassed like I could feel my face getting kind of hot and I don't know what it was if it was just because like I was feeling him being a little like nervous and it made me kind of nervous or it's because I thought it was kind of cute like, uh, have you seen that episode of Friends where Rachel gets the, the cute doctor? That's what, that's what I felt like. Hi, Rachel. I'm Dr. Schiff. Yes, you are. <laughs> so, how's it going? Oh, it's really, really good. But enough about me. Come on. <laughs> where are you from? What do you do? <laughs> but I didn't tell Chris, because he was sitting right there in the room. <laughs> um, I guess he'll see when he watches this that I thought the little student was kind of cute, but anyways, he, you know, he measured my stomach, which I hadn't had that done before, but like, this was the thing is, you know, you tell he was new, so he was like measuring, but then he wouldn't say anything after. He found the heartbeat, said it was, oh, 147, and I was like, okay, is that good? <laughs> like, you know, he didn't say anything after, and he was like, you know, I'm, I'm, everything it was, I'll tell the doctor, and she'll tell you, like, if there's any issue. So, you know, he must have been pretty new, but I did ask him a few questions and basically he was like, well, we'll tell the doctor that you had those questions. So I was like, well, I'll wait for the doctor to come in to really ask my questions. I wish I hadn't done that because she came in, she was, you could just tell she was someone like that, like an in and out kind of person. She wanted to come in, say what needed to be said, answer questions, any questions, and like get out. Um, like I said, she wasn't, like, rude, but she was not helpful. First off, she didn't really, I feel like she didn't give me complete answers to any of my questions. Like, the maternity leave one, I was, you know, she did tell me, like, it's six weeks. And I was, like, so, like, that's, like, unless something goes wrong in six weeks. She's like, yes. And 
no kind of like compassion as, to, as far as like, oh yeah, you know, I know that's probably too short, but that's just the way the law works or whatever she wanted to say. It was just, yes, it's six weeks, so whatever. And I asked about, and I told her, I was like, I know this is like re really far in the future thinking, but she's due around November, around the holidays. I just want to know like kind of when is it safe to like leave the house with the baby? Like really leave, like if I go to my grandparents a couple hours away. And her answer was like, basically it was like, well, it's good to wait till they get immunized, but really it's just up to you and how you feel. I was like, well, like, I didn't want to keep pestering her with questions because you could just tell she wasn't wanting to be pestered with questions. But I was like, I don't know when they get immunized. What is that? Like six weeks, six months? I don't know. I don't know when they get immunized. So like, is it the week after they're born? I literally just want to know like, Hey, if my grandparents plan our family Christmas, a oh, week or two into December and my baby's born November 16th, well, which is her due date, will I actually like be able to go to these things with her? Still don't have the answer to that. I asked, you know, so like when do I, like when should I start looking at like more information about like actual labor process and all that? She's like, well, what do you mean? I was like, oh, obviously I don't really know what I mean because of the way that I asked you this question. But I'll do my best to flipping answer you. I was like, you know, I just want to know more about like what's going to happen day up. And she's like, well, you know, it just depends on how things go for you. I was like, well, are there like hospital tours? Can I just like see what my options are? Like, I don't know what I'm doing. I know nothing about this. Can you just like give me some bit of information or where to find information? And I didn't say that, but that's kind of what I'm thinking in my head. And she said, um, okay, that's actually through the hospital. That's not through us. I was like, well, don't you also work at that hospital? Because you, aren't you one of the wees that delivers babies? Um, but so I was like, what do I just call them for information? She's like, oh yeah, you set it up on the site. And like, they have classes and stuff at this hospital too. So I think Chris brought up a good point. He's like, we probably just need to take those classes because with how little both of us know um, I mean I know like about the process and I watched a bunch of people on YouTube talk about it so I feel like that part like in different things that can happen and go wrong and whatever that part I know pretty well about I just don't know about my specific hospital what their rules are and what options I have there so I'm probably just gonna do that set something up with the hospital which makes sense why I would ask them and not like at the doctor's office, but I didn't know my one point of contact is this doctor's office. And so I just wish she had been like a little nicer and a little more helpful. Done. Home Depot, one more errand to go. So after I saw the doctor and honestly was like a little, you know, not happy with how this appointment was going. Um, Oh, we went to do the ultrasound because, yeah, we were doing it second since I missed the appointment at first. Um, wasn't in a great mood. Luckily, we got the same ultrasound tech that I had last time. And she is just, like, the nicest, like, you know, friendly, patient person. Was actually kind of answering a lot of questions that I wanted to ask my doctor, but... I just, you know, felt very rushed while I was in there talking to her and kind of, like, forgot about. Like, but she didn't actually answer it. She's like, the doctor will tell you or will look at this, too. But, you know, I'm seeing regular growth. I'm not seeing any issues. And I guess, like, you know, she does that all day, every day. So I'm sure she can probably pick out issues, especially the common ones. But she can't really diagnose since she's not a doctor which I get is why she was saying you know that the doctor will have to look too but um so yeah we got we got some cool pictures uh we saw like we got to see like everything they look at everything at this scan they're looking at the brain and the heart and the kidneys and blah, blah, all this stuff and I, was like, I just want to see her little face her little head she was in a really weird spot and like actually like took forever for the old Shantek to find her like all all these things she was looking for I had to like roll on my side and get up and go pee and like all kinds of stuff and she was like kind of jiggling my stomach trying to get Bobby to move so she could get her like uh what she needed um 
oh my gosh, just to see how much she has changed from the first ultrasound we got, where she literally just looked like a little, like a little peanut, like you couldn't even hardly tell. You can see like little nubs for arms and legs to like actually looking like a human being, like a head and a face and arms and legs. And I don't know, it's, it's really, it's like a real baby. <laughs> and I'm home. I swear, it's, oh my gosh, it's 8 o'clock. Where did this day go? I actually took the whole day off of work because I thought, you know, it was going to be a little bit of a longer appointment. And I was able to take my holiday the 4th today on the 3rd instead. But it flew by and I feel like I've gotten nothing done. So here, what my belly looks like at 20 weeks. I don't know. I don't think that that looks so small. All right, maybe it's just, hey, she's apparently really excited about the Thunder shirt. I really think that it's just because I work with other people that are farther along than me that, uh, there it's a little bit better, that make me look smaller because, well, obviously they are bigger because they're farther along. Makes sense. So this is Sammy in her thunder shirt. What do you think? You think it's boring? It's already calming you down. That's what's happening. Oh, you look so fancy. She doesn't even know what to do. Look, she doesn't want to move. Take a step or something. Come here. <laughs> She's just not really used to wearing clothes. I will probably end here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I know this was a really different video than what I usually do. Uh, oh, wait, one more thing. You thought it was over. I got a big to-do done. I said we haven't really done anything for baby. I used to use this, which is our guest room which is where I usually sit down to film. I used to use it to hold all my clothes and my vanity and stuff because our room's pretty small and we have a king size bed, which makes it feel even smaller. Um, but I totally cleared all my stuff out of the closet, except for just a couple like things I'm storing in there right now. I totally emptied this dresser, which will probably become Bobby's dresser. And I moved out my vanity, which used to sit there um, so no place to sit and film anymore. I'll have to figure out a new place. Um, but yeah, this room is slowly starting to actually become Bobby's room. Slowly. <laughs> we still got some time, but I feel like I kind of need to kick my butt into gear a little bit with this whole baby thing. Because she's coming whether we're ready or not. Um, but thank you so much for watching. I have a lot of ideas for videos. I just, you know... Gotta get the time to film and edit them, so hopefully I'll be coming at you a little bit sooner than I was this time around. I um, hope you have a great day, and like this video and leave a comment below uh, with... I'm Jones, I'm so awkward at this. Like it if you like it, and leave a comment if you have a question. How about that? That sounds, that sounds like I'm not begging for, for you to like me. <laughs> Okay, I should probably stop talking now. Bye.